let's hypothesize the situation. It's 20 years from now. China forms a close relationship with Canada and Mexico. They form a military alliance, and the Chinese decide that they're going to deploy some military forces in Canada and in Mexico. You, you think the United States is going to say, Canada's a sovereign country, Mexico's a sovereign country, and they can do whatever they want? If you believe that, you are really asking for trouble. If you show any interest in forming a military alliance or getting too close to the Chinese, the Americans will be on top of you like nobody's business. You remember the, there's enough old dogs in this room who remember the Cuban Missile Crisis. Fidel Castro had the audacity to form a military alliance with Cuba, then invite them so, excuse me, to form a military alliance with the Soviet Union, then invite the Soviets to put missiles in Cuba. We still have not recovered from that. You, you notice that we still have our gun sights on Cuba. Oh, that just drove us crazy. That's a violation of the Monroe Doctrine. Again, you know my rhetoric about what's good for the goose is good for the gander. You're surprised that the Russians were upset about NATO expansion? And it was not just NATO expansion, it was NATO expansion plus EU expansion plus the color revolutions. And you know, a lot of people say to me, don't you understand, John, that Ukraine is a sovereign state and it can choose its own foreign policy? To which my response is, that's a foolish way of thinking about international politics. If you're a small state and you live next door to a gorilla, you have to be really very careful what you do. Because if you make that gorilla angry, that gorilla is going to do all sorts of horrible things to you. And we basically, probably unintentionally, encouraged Ukraine to pursue policies that got into a heap of trouble. And then when they got into a heap of trouble, what did we do? Nothing. We led them down the primrose path. And we did the same thing with Georgia. The Georgians were expecting us to come to the rescue. They're expecting the 7th Cavalry, Cavalry to arrive. It didn't happen. Surprise of surprises. But anyway, all I'd say is you've got to understand basic realpolitik here.